hello you are welcome how to solve this nice algebra problem solution from what we have here we can rewrite this as x times x and that's x square over 3 times 3 that's 3 squared which is equals to from here as well 3 times 3 that's 3 squared then divided by x times x that's x squared the next step here, we cross multiply x squared times x squared on this side. Then equals to also 3 squared times 3 squared here. Then from the law of indices, we have a raised to the power m times a raised to the power n. This will be a raised to the power m plus n. Then here, what we have becomes x raised to power 2 plus 2 which is x raised to power 4 then equals to here this is 3 raised to power 2 plus 2 which is 3 raised to power 4 then next step take 3 raised to power 4 to the left hand side then we have x raised to power 4 minus 3 raised to power 4 equals to 0 from here and this can be written as x square then squared as 2 times 2 here will still be 4 then minus 3 square then squared equals to 0 from here and this follows from when we have a square minus b squared which can be written as a plus b multiplied by a minus b then here a same thing as x square and b same thing as 3 squared then the equation we have here becomes x square plus 3 squared into bracket the open bracket x square minus 3 squared close bracket equals to 0 from here at this here we have two cases which are x squared plus 3 squared equals to 0 and we have x squared minus 3 squared equals to 0 from here then solving from the first case here the same thing as x squared plus 3 squared 3 times 3 that's 9 equals to 0 then taking plus 9 to this side become minus then we have x squared equals to minus 9 from here then we can take the square root on both sides here we have square root of x square equals to square root of minus 9 then square cancel square roots here and this gives us x equals to plus or minus here we can write this as square root of 9 times minus 1 that is the same thing as x equals to plus or minus square root of 9 times square root of minus 1. That is, here we have x equals to plus or minus root 9, that's 3. Then root minus 1, that's i, which is a complex number. So here, we have two complex solutions here. And on this side, we can as well follow from where we have a square minus b square that equals to a plus b then into bracket a minus b which implies here yeah, what we have becomes x plus 3 into bracket then open bracket x minus 3 equals to 0 from here then the two cases here are x plus 3 equals to 0 or we have x minus 3 equals to 0 then here becomes x equals to minus 3 so here we have a real solution here and from this side we have x equals to 3 which is also a real solution now all together here we have four solutions from here that is 
we can see the first one x1 equals to minus 3 x2 equals to 3 then x4 equals to 3i sorry x3 that's the third one then x4 equals to minus 3i so all together here we have two resolution and two complex solutions now from here we can check to confirm if the solution satisfies this given problem for the first one x1 equals to minus 3 then what we have here becomes minus 3 over 3 times minus 3 over 3 is equals to 3 over minus 3 times 3 over minus 3 then here this minus 3 over 3 is same thing as minus 1 then times also here we have minus 1 then is it equals to here also 3 over minus 3 that's minus 1 as well then times also here minus 1 a minus 1 times minus 1 that's plus 1 and which is equals to this side also we have plus 1 so left hand side equals to the right hand side then x equals to minus 3 satisfy the given problem then from here when x equals to 3 as well this becomes 3 over 3 times 3 over 3 is equals to 3 over 3 times 3 over 3 and here 3 over 3 does 1 times also 3 over 3 does 1 then is it equals to here as well we have 3 over 3 1 and times 3 over 3 does 1 and 1 times 1 does 1 equals to also 1 times 1 does 1 left hand side equals to the right hand side then x equals to 3 also satisfies a given problem now for x equals to 3 high as well then this becomes 3i over 3 times 3 high over 3 is equals to 3 over 3 high times 3 over 3 high then here 3 here cancel each other so we have i left then also times i left here then is equals to 3 also cancel each other here we have 1 over i left here then times also 1 over i left here then here i times i that's i square then is equals to here 1 times 1 that's 1 over i times i that's i square that is here we recall that root minus 1 equals to high which implies minus 1 will be equals to high square so i square here is minus 1 and is equals to 1 over minus 1 then here minus 1 is equals to here as well this is minus 1 left hand side equals to the right hand side similarly for x equals to minus 3 high for x equals to minus 3 high then what we have becomes minus 3 high over 3 times minus 3 high over 3 is equals to 3 over minus 3 high times 3 over minus 3 high then here what we have here become minus i times minus i then is equals to here we have minus 1 over i times minus 1 over i here then minus times minus that's plus so i times i i square then is equals to here as well minus times minus that's plus so we have 1 over i square which is same thing as minus 1 equals to 1 over minus 1 then here we have minus 1 equals to minus 1 also left hand side equals to the right hand side and hence minus 3 high also satisfy the given problem and thank you for watching
don't forget this step subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on share this video put your comment see you next class and bye for now